Who's that swing? Welcome to the mysterious John Lewis show. Let's all get together and welcome straight ahead, Monsieur John Lewis. <laughs> thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, yeah, thank you very yeah. much. Yes, yeah. and Ron, Ron. And ladies and gentlemen, you know, uh, Ron, I, like I've mentioned in previous shows, he's come all the way from California to be with me. Mm -hmm. You understand? And I need another chorus to be on the other side so we can have some fun. And keep the balance going. Right. Right. <laughs> but, but now, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Ron Jefferson, my co-host, ladies and gentlemen. Uh -huh. Ron Thank Jefferson. You. Who's Thank that you swing, so Ron? Who's that swing? Thank but you. But ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. we have somebody that's uh, history now that's right. sitting between us. And uh, his name is uh, Roy Haynes, an extraordinaire. I mean, one of the prolific, dynamic, innovators, culminators. That's I mean, right. you name it. He's done it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's welcome Roy Haynes. Haynes. All right. Yeah. Who's that swing? Who's that swing? Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Ron, I know you and, you and uh, Roy Haynes go way back, and I'm the youngest one up here. So, oh, yeah. Um, How young are you? Yeah, I'm young. <laughs> In other words, you're our son. Yes. You're our son. So, I mean, right. I know you guys, yes, you, you won't have you. a good time with Roy. Yeah. You may as well have it, Ron. There yeah, it is. See, see, this is our son, Mr. Haynes. This yeah. is our son. So, I mean, you go ahead, Ron. I mean? You got him now. No, but I, well, actually, actually, there's one thing that I want to say about Haynes because I've been knowing Haynes for quite a while, yeah. you know, being a jazz drummer myself. Mm -hmm. well, you play jazz? Uh, jazz, what is jazz? Well, I don't know. Who's that swing? Hey, baby. <laughs> 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 No, that's it. No, right. right. Just said the right thing. Beautiful. Hey, hey Ron, what you, you told me about uh, Haynes before you came back to California, and you, we used to, you know, over the seven years you spent out there, okay. and we used to talk about him on the telephone. He was famous, not, not just in, uh, uh, in, in person. You know what I mean? He was famous over the telephone because every time I called, you asked me, have I seen Haynes? Oh, yeah, always. Always yeah, asked yeah, about about Haynes. Yeah. Yeah, well, how Haynes come you didn't call my, me? Because Haynes is one of my favorite drummers. How come you yeah. didn't call me? I should have. Wow, I should have called you. Right. Mm. But I was so busy. Hey, Ron, no, I, know no why, Ron I, know no I know why you haven't called no. me. I know why you haven't called me. Oh, he, oh, he got okay, private numbers, Ron. Huh? He got private numbers. Oh, I did. Right. right. That's why I had you to call him. You yeah, called private him. Private right. numbers. You guys ganging up on me now. Ganging up on me. But what I want to say to you, Haynes, is that what I want to get back to you is that look at it. You know, like all drummers, like there, there, there are a lot of drummers out here. You know, that I see a lot of drummers, and I never say that one drummer is greater than the other. Yeah. All drummers, to me, are great. Right. I can never, that's why I don't dig poles. Yeah. You know what I mean? But to you, what I would like to say to you, as far as solo improvisation in drums, to me, you're the greatest, you're the greatest of all of them. Really? To me. No, I really feel that way. Uh -huh. And I also feel that a lot of other people feel that way, because you can take a solo, and the things that you do, it's no end to your madness, into your trip. <laughs> wow. It's no end. I mean, I mean, when, 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 when Roy Haynes sit down and take a solo, believe me, you're on an experience that's unbelievable. Wow, man. Right, and I, and I really, and I really, as, so, as, so, as far as that particular part of the drums, to me, you are the greatest. Wow, man, yeah, that's really right. a compliment. Yeah, you Coming know, you're really. Because you, uh, I always enjoyed you and thought you were very great. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah so yeah, I mean, you. by you saying that, you know, uh huh. That sort of inspires me. Yeah, that's beautiful. And yeah. and what do you uh, do you see? A lot of people say that drummers uh, it's better for them to practice. Some say it's better for them not to practice. Some say it's better for them to be mentally or whatever. Oh. How do you do it? Because you sound fresher now than you did when you were young. Oh, how yeah? do you how do you achieve this? Uh, I don't because know, I guess with age. With age, I huh? just mellow out. Yeah, because yeah. in this society, guess, you suppose he's supposed to get worse. Yeah. And oh, this, in a society like exactly. we live in. Well, society. it was something yeah. nice that you said. You said you heard drummers are supposed to practice and they're not supposed to practice. Right. I never heard that before. I heard yeah. that everyone was supposed to practice. Right, right. Which, uh, I'm playing constantly yeah. within. Within. All the time. Yeah, uh -oh. right. I feel, I'm thinking of drums. Uh -oh. All the time. In fact, yeah. like, uh, like yeah, you can't right. notice my, my feet. feet. I just right. got that natural nervous yeah, energy. Yeah, nervous energy. That's why, yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. I've always had energy. that. And uh, mm -hmm. I'm practicing that way. So when I, when, but when I get on the bandstand, I feel like a, I feel like a doctor. You know the way they say a doctor Thank is you. practicing? Yeah. That's uh -huh. when I go to work. That's yeah, when, when I practice. Yeah, when you go to work. Yeah, a surgeon. Oh. Right.